Today I'm going to be doing a brief video on how to set up a wireless flash with your Canon DSLR. Now, to be perfectly honest, I'm not all that into photography. I'm more of a video guy myself. But I noticed that there were a handful of videos on how to do this online and many of them seemed pretty long and took a while to explain what I learned is a pretty straightforward process. So I decided to make this video and hope you guys enjoy. The flash I'm going to be using is the Canon Speedlight 430EX2, which doesn't specify which Canon DSLRs it is compatible with, but since my T3i had no issues, I would go ahead and say it is safe to say that any Canon DSLR made after 2010 should work fine with this flash, and the process should be about the same if you have the latest firmware. This flash is pretty basic. You can either attach it to your Canon DSLR directly using the hot shoe, or you can use the included stand to use it in slave mode. There aren't too many settings in this flash, and the ones that are there I'm just going to gloss over for the sake of this video. To help make this video go along even more smoothly, I have my roommate Matt as a subject for the testing of the flashes, and he was generous enough to let me use his T3i to film my T3i, which has the settings in place for the wireless flash setup. Now the first thing you are going to need are four AA batteries, as they are required to power this flash. Then it's time to mess with some settings on your camera. Make sure you are in manual mode for this. Go into your menu, click on flash control, enable flash firing, and set the ETTL 2 meter to average. Then you go into the built-in flash function setting, set the built-in flash to custom wireless, and the flash mode to ETTL 2, which is basically an auto mode for your flash. Now going down to the wireless function, the icon on the left represents your wireless flash, and the one on the right represents your built-in flash on your camera, which is the transmitter for the wireless flash. There are three different modes that you can play around with, but the one you need to worry about is the one in the middle with just the wireless flash icon. Your transmitter will still go off, which is kind of annoying if you don't want that to happen, but fortunately, compared to the light of the flash, you can hardly notice in the photos. Then you have your channels, which go from 1 to 4. You can honestly just keep it at 1. If you switch to any of the others, you have to adjust the channel on the wireless flash that you are using. Channel 1 is just default. Then you go to your firing groups. When you have all selected, this will let you choose to fire the one flash. The AB option is if you want to use two wireless flashes. I'll get to that in a minute. So setting up the wireless flash in slave mode is pretty straightforward. When you turn the flash on, just hold the zoom wireless button, the one in the top right corner of the panel, for a few seconds and then you will see it now displaying the channel number and slave letter. The flash comes with a nice stand that you can use to hold it up and set it down somewhere that you need. For me, I just picked a random spot in the room. Once you are ready, just start taking photos and your wireless flash should fire right alongside your Canon DSLR. And just to see what it could do, I decided to throw in a second wireless flash of the same kind. In order to use two wireless flashes at the same time, just switch the firing groups from all to AB. Then you have two flashes going off simultaneously to brighten your shot even more. So that is my video on how to set up wireless flashes on your Canon DSLR. I hope you guys enjoyed. 